2024 is the year that Hero has turned 40 years old and they've begun the year with the launch of a brand new motorcycle that's aimed at much younger people than that. This is the Extreme 125R and it is a 125cc motorcycle but it's saying I'm not boring, I'm fun and there's a lot about it that actually lives up to that. Now this is a formula that TVS used very well with the Raider. It was affordable but fun to ride and desirable and it was so good at that formula that we gave it our Bike of the Year award three years ago. And this bike does a very good job as well. To start off, I think it's a really good looking motorcycle. Not at all boring, looks like a much bigger bike because there's a lot of interesting looking bodywork. The tank looks and feels quite large underneath you. These side panels are huge and in fact, when you look at them from the side of the motorcycle, they seem to stick out a lot. But from the rider's point of view, it looks nice and muscular. The split seats also look quite sporty and the rear seat is quite high up. Now, Hero tells us that even though it looks aggressive, it's not as aggressive as it is on the Extreme 160. But how customers take the risk remains to be seen. Maybe the company will do a single seat version in the future, we'll have to see. But for now, I think that looks really good. And the tail section is quite sharply raked as well. Finally, you have a very stylish looking exhaust and this is definitely the nicest looking exhaust on any Hero 125cc bike yet. Speaking of 125cc, this engine is based on the Glamour 125cc motor, but Hero started to work on that engine and give it more aggressive cam profiles and they realized that they were losing out on refinement and that's when there were a bunch of changes made to the motor. The motor is now in a more aggressive state of tune, but that has brought in some vibration challenges and to address that, this engine now gets a balancer shaft and it also gets a silent cam chain. Now, Hero says that the result of all these efforts is that this is the smoothest engine in the class. We'll have to ride it against other bikes back to back to see if that's actually true. But today, we got to ride the bike around Hero's test track for 5 laps and it is a really smooth motor. Smooth throughout, very minor high frequency vibes at high RPMs. On the street, this will probably be a very smooth engine. As for performance, it makes 11.5 horsepower, which is somewhat on par with the TVS and a little less than the Pulsar NS125. The bike gets a 5-speed gearbox and overall performance should be on the stronger side of the segment. But it's not just called an extreme for the sake of it, there's a lot going on here from the bigger extreme family as well. The front fork, for example, is a 37mm diameter unit, which is among the largest in the segment and that comes straight off the Extreme 164V. The rear shock is by Showa. This is not the Extreme rear shock, but it is a Showa unit and it's 7-step preload adjustable. Mainly though, they took the chassis from the Extreme 4V as well and they started from there with a few modifications to arrive at this bike. So this is not just a fancy looking 125cc commuter, it's more of a scaled down 160cc bike and that experience also comes to life on the track. This is a really fun handling machine, it changes direction very quickly, it's agile but it's not overtly sharp or stiffly sprung, it's still a soft and fairly comfortable bike. I think it will be really good fun to ride on the street. But if you ever take it to a go-kart track or something like that, you will have lots of fun. Speaking of fun and sporty, the riding position is quite interesting. It feels like a pretty substantial bike underneath you, definitely bigger than a 125. Thanks to the feeling of the tank and the view you have looking down here. The foot peg position on this motorcycle is a little sportier than I was expecting. The feet are folded back slightly. It's not uncomfortable, but if you're a really tall person, you will feel that. The plus side is that out on track, I never really scraped the foot pegs. The handlebar also creates a slight lean forward and the overall riding position is nice and involving. Another thing that comes from the Extreme is this LCD display. Now, this is standard on the motorcycle. It's just like you get on the bigger Extreme 164V. And all of that really adds to the value of this motorcycle. The bike has been launched in two variants. You get one with integrated braking and a front disc or you get one with single channel ABS and a front disc. Single channel ABS, Hero tells us, is a segment first. The prices are pretty good as well. 95,000 rupees for the base model and 99,500 for the ABS equipped bike, which is really competitive against its rivals. And on top of all of that, Hero says that this is also the most fuel efficient bike in the class with a claimed efficiency of 66 kpl. Overall, I think this is a really promising bike. If I was young, didn't have a lot of money, was looking for my first bike, I wanted something that wasn't boring, but something that was practical, easy to use in the city, affordable to run, I would really be looking at a bike like this. I think Hero's done a great job here and we really want to spend more time with it compared to its rivals and see where it stands.